Nothing in this podcast or on our website should be construed as medical advice. Consult your healthcare provider for your individual nutritional and medical needs. The information presented is based on our research and is strictly that of the author and not necessarily those of any professional group or other individual. Hi, I'm Sue Becker from Bread Beckers. Welcome to Sue's Healthy Minutes. I'm so excited you've joined me today, and I hope this episode encourages you and allows you to find the answers you have been praying for, for the health of you and your family. Today on Sue's Healthy Minutes, I want to share just a short message for the new year. It's officially 20. 24. Wow, that is so hard to believe. As a new year approaches, most of us begin to consider new commitments and ways we may improve our lives in the coming year, perhaps even where we want to be this time next year. And of course, among the top New Year's resolutions made is to embrace a more healthy lifestyle by eating more nutritiously and exercising more. As I was thinking of what I wanted to say today to encourage you in this new year, I was reminded of a verse from the book of Jeremiah that God impressed upon me a number of years ago. In fact, I now use it as my basic outline for my presentations. You may not make the connection right away, but as I further explain, I am sure you will see it as I did. In Jeremiah 31, the Israelites have found themselves in captivity, but God has promised redemption and a return to their land. So he gives them these instructions in verse 21. Place for yourselves highway markers back to Canaan. Make for yourself guideposts. Turn your thought and attention to the highway, to the way by which you went into exile. Retrace your steps, O virgin Israel, and return to these, your cities. Earlier this year, as I was ministering in prayer with a precious sister in the Lord with severe food intolerances, she made the comment to me that she had been crying out to the Lord for food, freedom, food, freedom, Those words have replayed in my mind over and over. We may not find ourselves carried away into a foreign land like the Israelites, but I know that many of us can say we are in captivity, held captive by various physical infirmities and limitations, often including various food intolerances, some quite extensive and serious. Over the past few months, I've heard from numerous customers who were, in their words, held hostage in their homes due to such bowel complications that they literally could not leave their house or be too far from a bathroom. I would say this is captivity. But I'm happy to say they are rejoicing today that real bread made from freshly milled whole grains has set them free. It is a good thing as we make our resolutions this year that we set up guideposts and road signs, if you will, to lead us out of captivity to a healthier lifestyle and food choices. But It is an equally important but often neglected step that we consider how we got to this place of captivity of poor health. What wrong choices have we made or food myths have we believed that brought us here? This just might be a powerful tool to keep us on the right path of good choices. Both are equally important truths to consider. I look forward to sharing more on this subject with you in 2024 on Season 3 of Sue's Healthy Minutes. We have an exciting season ahead for you with more research and information to share. And of course, more It's the Bread Testimonies to hear. I remember as a young girl counting the years to determine if I would even be alive in the year 2000. 
And here it is, 2024. As we look forward to this year ahead and season three of Sue's Healthy Minutes, may we all consider how God has brought us to this place and where we will let him lead us in the new year and the new truths he wants to reveal to us all. I hope you had a wonderful time with friends and family over the holidays, and I sincerely wish you all a very happy new year. And as always, thank you for listening today. Enjoy your day. And until next time, this is Sue Becker from Bread Beckers with Sue's Healthy Minutes. Happy New Year. Sue's Healthy Minutes podcast has been a presentation by the Bread Beckers Incorporated located in Woodstock, Georgia. For more information, store hours, and learning opportunities, visit breadbeckers.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast and never miss an episode. Share this with two friends who would benefit from this information and be sure to join us again next week for more of Sue's Healthy Minutes.